Right now it is 22.59. We are hunting black bears in their 20 to 0 drink time for the very last time. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. With the update, black bears are getting a brand new drink time. They're going to be drinking from 4 to 8. But the only way to get your bears to that new 4 to 8 drink time is to shoot them. And I mean every single one of them. When you shoot a black bear after the update, during the evening drink time, it will respawn to the morning drink time. Today we are going to be grinding on my main Main four shooting lakes, kind of like an experiment. We are going to be shooting all the bears that we can. Then we are going to go to the morning drink time where bears will now be drinking with Rocky Mountain Elk. They will share the same drink time. We're going to grind 100 bears today and I am going to show you the highlights from that grind and that is going to be a day grind. And we are going to be using the our Xena 300 AR. Let's go. I am super excited. This new weapon comes in the new high caliber weapons pack that also comes out on Tuesday, March the 12th. So we're going to be using the new 300 and let me tell you, it is kicking. My absolute favorite weapon in the entire game has been the 300 Magnum, but I think there is a new king. <laughs> I am in love with the new 300. So let's start by shooting these bears right here. This is kind of crazy because I just finished a 3,749 kill black bear grind all in the dark. Okay, double splat. Two shots left. The Arzina has five shots, which is sweet. And it does zero to 300 meters. Let's do that. And we have more bears waiting over here. You get a bullet, you get a bullet, and you're gonna run. Well, you know, there's no escaping. Ask this guy there. See, he's not running very fast. So he gets a bullet and he goes, splat, beautiful. Okay. Now guys, let me know in the comments what you are most excited for in this update and in this new weapon pack. How you doing, my dude? We have a level six. Maybe I should turn the light on. Oh, it's gonna be so great to grind bears in broad daylight. I am excited. And what do you guys think of the new black bear drink time? And an eight mythical. Now I am only going to be moving my bears from these four lakes to the new drink time for right now. All of the other bears at all the exteriors are still going to be drinking at night. The thing is, if I go out and I shoot every bear on the entire map, that is going to completely ruin all of the progress that I have made in getting my big bears up to these four lakes. So I'm not going to move them for right now and we're going to see what happens. And a level seven. So let's have a look at the penetration here. Blue through the scapula and still crazy penetration. I tell you, this new 300 is powerful. It'll even double long a moose. We did tested on moose in yesterday's video and if you would like to check that out i will leave the link for it in the description below we tested out the 300 ar against the 300 magnum and it was pretty fascinating but i think we have a new 300 king and a level five okay let's move to the next zone <laughs> look what we have here guys we have a nine legendary all right this is gonna be my last diamond in the dark for black bears We got him. And lights are out for him. Now I'm pretty sure the Arzina actually even reloads a little bit faster than the 300 Magnum. Has one extra shot and has even more penetration. And since this guy's standing there, they like to spook on the other side. We'll just take care of them right now. Okay, my dude, are you a diamond? Yes, a pretty big one, 23.68. We got left lung a little high on the shot there, but did the job, 247.3 meters. And we have one more diamond black bear, sweet. Now guys, also would you guys let me know in the comments, would you like me to redo my black bear grind now that they do have a new drink time? Okay, and this is the last lake we're gonna be shooting black bears at. Now when you are moving your black bears from the evening to the morning drink time, what I would recommend that you do is do two rotations. And if you really wanna make sure that you have every bear shot from up here, maybe move the time forward by one minute. Usually that brings all of the black bears out. Sometimes it makes them disappear and you have to do it again. It can be expensive but let's get all those black bears out of the evening drink time so we can grind them in the morning now these changes of moving the black bears from the evening to the morning are not just for silver ridge peaks they are for every map that has black bears on it and we have a few maps now we have silver ridge peaks mississippi acres leighton lakes and i think that is it three maps okay Man, there's just no recoil on this new 300. I am loving it. 
and a level six. Look at that penetration. Oh my gosh. That's kind of crazy. And a level seven. Now on that angle, we didn't get a lot of penetration. Interesting. Okay. Now we're going to double check, make sure there are no bears left. And we are going to change the time to about 7 a.m. That'll give us two hours. Actually, 6 a.m. That'll give us two hours of drink time with daylight. Okay. I don't see anything here, but just to make sure, I'm going to put the time forward by one minute. Always do this in a tent because it is 25% cheaper than changing the time in an outpost. And no more bears respawning here. They are gone. Let's check again. Yep, the bears are gone. Now, somewhere in the video, guys, I am going to share a key phrase. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one-month membership to the channel. I think we got all the bears. There was nothing there. I'm going to do the one-minute trick down here, and we're going to change the time, and I'm really excited to move to morning drink time. No more bears. Okay, 6 a.m. Here we go. Now, I am going to start off at my first lake. I like to start my rotations at. And the first thing I'm going to do is change my binoculars out. We're gonna use the apex views. And yes, with this update, you can customize your binoculars and range finders just like you do your tents and weapons, which is very sweet. So I actually have one of the new skins that comes with the high caliber weapon pack on my binoculars right now. And there's my first bear in broad daylight. Yes, and there's no elk here. Okay, let's take care of these bears. Oh, this is so great. That's it for him. And three splattered bears. So you know how I used to hunt with two 300 magnums when I was doing the bear grind? You can't do that with a 300 AR because there is only one variation of it because we now have weapon skins. So if you do want to carry two weapons, I think what I'll do is carry the 300 AR in the first slot and the 300 magnum in the second slot. I might not even need to with having five shots. It's just so much more enjoyable to do this during daylight. I think I might have done my black bear grind a little too early. But I got him, and I'm very glad I got him before the update. And a level seven, double lung. Okay, now let's see if we have elk at this lake. Okay, look at this, guys. We have bears and elk drinking in harmony. They are not spooking each other. I know there was a lot of concern at the EW stream when people heard about the new drink time overlapping with Rocky Mountain Elk, but they are not spooking each other. Now, I can see the elk being a problem. If you have a zone with a pile of elk, I can see them blocking our bears. And if that happens, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna blow out the zone. Hopefully the elk will go somewhere else. We know the black bears will come right back. Blowing out their zones is no problem because they are predators. I actually have some really nice elk out here. Not bad at all. So let's try and blow this zone out. I'm gonna shoot the bears and then I'm gonna shoot one elk and oh, need to do this not in a hunting structure. I need to get down. And our bears are actually exposed. Delightful. And they are 243 meters away. Okay, we'll aim a little high and zero to 150. Okay. Move! Oh, now I gotta reload. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Not bad. And that guy's just standing there? Oh, okay, they're still glitching a little bit around the water. <laughs> oh, he is dying. Yes, he is gonna die. Okay, not my best work, but when he does die, I'm pretty sure this zone is gonna disappear. And then when we come back, you should only have bears here. And there's our seven. And look at that, guys. We did blow the zone out. Perfect. Okay, we ran quite a distance for this guy. Oh, I hit him in the skull. Well, that's not a very good shot, is it? But guess what? He dead. Look how far we ran. 552 meters? I don't normally track him that far. I do consider that a bit of a waste of time, but I just decided to. And we do have a bear on the other side. Beautiful. Got him. Where are we going, dog? This way. And there is our third bear. Not a perfect shot, but we got him. Let's grab our last bear and move on to the next zone. Look at this. I have elk coming back to drink at the zone that I have blown out. Interesting. I don't think they'll come back once we change the time and then change it again back to morning drink time. I don't think they'll come back. And 
And there is our level six. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, so I decided to put my counters on the screen. These are what I use to keep track of all of my stats when I am doing any great one grind. So, so far we have killed nine bears. I have spawned 25 great ones. The black bear we spawned a few nights ago on stream was number 25. And so far we just shot that one diamond and we do have elk here. Do I have any bears right now? I, I can see us possibly getting some diamond elk while doing the black bear grind, but I don't see any bears here. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and blow this zone out, get these elk out of here, because I will eventually have bears spawning in here. They just rotate from zone to zone. It's all part of the same home range, so they can respawn to any of these lakes, and sometimes there is just nothing at this lake. Now, can I kill four of them? I'm sure gonna try. Okay, the complete lack of recoil on the new 300 AR is definitely gonna help. I wish they were all more broadside. Okay, let's try and kill four. Here we go. One, two, no, three. I think we did it. Just wait for them to die. Okay, they're not all dead yet. Okay, there is a beautiful level three Rocky Mountain Elk. Over a thousand dollars, pretty sweet. There's a vital and a non-vital. I think I'll use the dog. Okay, there's our little guy. That was the last one that we shot. Two more, my dude. Let's have a look at this zone. No, it's not blown out. Oh man, I guess I only got three. I'll have to try that again. Unless something is still going to die. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother picking up all the elk. Obviously we killed three. So what I'm doing is I'm coming back to see if maybe they're gonna come back into their zone and I can kill one more. Cause that's what they did on the other lake. But I don't think anything has come back quite yet. Okay, we'll come back and check later. Let's head down to this lake. Okay, and we do have bears here and no elk. So that is very sweet. Three bears so far. So I think I'm gonna have to go out to exteriors and find some bigger bears. I know where there are a bunch of level fives. I don't think I have enough bears. Well, actually we have 12. I've, I've already shot nine. Oh, and there's four here. Maybe we are okay. I'm just gonna grind these. That's actually 13 bears. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna shoot any more at exteriors. Just for right now, we are in the testing phase. And I don't know if I can get all four, but I'm sure gonna try. Now, I do have the 300 mag as my second 300. I may need it because I would like to kill all of them. Let's try. Okay, did I get them all? I think we got all four of them. That was beautiful. And five. It's so delightful how much bears pay. 1385 for a level five. 1384 for a level seven. I have made so much money doing the black bear grind. Well, not only because they pay so well, but also because you're not only shooting two per zone, you're shooting all of them. So look at that, $1,467 for a level six. Very sweet. Now let's see if we have elk still here. Actually, it's this lake that they'll be at. We're gonna go back. We got 15 minutes left. What I think I'm gonna do is put the time back and then leave the map and come back. And hopefully we will have no more elk to deal with. 545 should be just fine. And just leaving the map and coming back just refreshes everything. Now, usually after I come back in, I don't usually have any bears here. So what I do because I'm impatient is I put the time forward by one minute. Now it is expensive, so if you don't have a lot of cash, you might wanna wait, but see, bears instantly. Two level sixes and a five. Okay, well, we're gonna get to work grinding these bears. We're gonna kill a hundred and see what happens. Double splat. Move. Ooh. Beautiful, four splats in a row. Okay guys, so check this out. I am now at this lake. We blew the zone out and now there is nothing there. No bears, they will come back, but not yet. We definitely have bears on this side. Oh, we have a pile of elk. So me fast traveling, I think has freaked them out a little bit. Unless there's a mountain lion around. I need to get out there and shoot those bears. I need to do the same thing. I, I need to blow that zone out as well. Well, the elk are out of here. <laughs> and so are my bears. Oh dear, dude. You get a bullet. It's gonna be hard to get this guy. He's running pretty fast. Oh! 
tried to get a second shot in there, but he is dropping. Yes, we got him. Now, I won't be able to blow up the zone right now. Don't have enough animals here. But Oh, and I'm standing. I'm so used to being on a hunting structure. <laughs> Dodo. Well, we're not even close to blowing it out, but we did get the bears. Old habits die hard. Well, I'll try it next time, but they weren't a problem. The elk weren't in the way, and that is the problem we are trying to solve. So we have a seven. Beautiful. Shot him in the back. Kind of mean, I know. What can I say? And one out here. Okay, interestingly, we have nothing here. Now, I do still have the Rocky Mountain Elk Zone, so they will eventually come back in, and I just haven't had any bears spawn in here yet, so we will keep moving. Now, since we moved 13 bears, I need to keep track that I still have 13 bears. If I start to have less, then we know we have some jumpers. Now, if that happens, and it will, we're gonna have to go out and search exteriors, which I am so over. <laughs> I don't wanna do that anymore. Well, we have a couple sevens here. Now, I am gonna put the time forward by one minute and see if I get any more bears. Now, I can take them away. I'm hoping more are gonna come out because we are getting less bears this rotation than the last one. And like I said, it actually caused us to have less bears. So I am going to do it again. And it looks like two bears is all that we are gonna get. Oh, I love this new 300. I know I said that a lot, but can't believe how great it is. All right, here's hoping we get more bears on the next rotation. So we only got seven bears that rotation. I'm a little worried. <laughs> Let's do it again and hopefully we will get more. Okay, guys, it worked. Look at this. We have four black bears here and no Rocky Mountain elk blocking them in. So that is the solution. Blow out the zone and the bears will definitely come back and then you will not have any more Rocky Mountain elk getting in the way. That is awesome. So now I'm going to try and blow out this zone. I don't have any bears there, but I do have elk and I'm not on a stand right now. So let's try and blow this zone out again. We need to kill four. Well, they're all pretty much broadside. That's beautiful. Start right here. Jeez, it just drops them. That's crazy. I don't think we got four. I think we got three so far. Well, he is dropping in health. Oh, there's another zone. So as long as he dies, we should get the hunting pressure. It's not easy to hit them. When they're running at 300 meters. Okay, forget it. Oh, we did it. We did it. We blew the zone out. Might as well go grab the cash. You'll notice here, this is a change with the update. It has shrunk the font so that you can actually see everything that it hit before it would cut off. So that is very nice. That's a good change. So we got double lung and that just dropped that elk from 300 meters, 245 meters. Dropped this one as well with a double lung. All right, and that elk just died. He just took his time. Actually, it was this zone that we tried to blow out and were unsuccessful at. So now I do have a bear here and quite a few cow elk. Let's try and blow this zone out. Now they're gonna run fast. Do my best, here we go. That's yeah, not easy. Okay, we got three. There was some hunting pressure there and I think we blew it out. We did it. Might as well grab what's laying here and our one level four bear. Okay, we should have gotten rid of our elk problem now. Guess what, guys? My plan failed. The elk came right back. I just got another drink zone for them. So we're gonna have to deal with the elk being in the same zone. I thought it might work, but it did not. I mean, we have to try. Well, at least I have full view of them, so they're not a problem at the moment. Oh, I didn't get them. I got them now. Oh, there's four bears. How did I not see those? I hit him. I hit him again. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, he is going down. We got him. I only saw two bears. What a dodo. <laughs> and one bear and two bears. No escape for you. Third bear and our fourth bear. Let's see how we did there. Oh, I got stomach and then a butt shot. Well, that'll do the trick. He dead. But interestingly, I have bears because we did just blow that zone out, but the elk did not come back into this zone yet anyway. So it is definitely worth blowing the zone out and trying to get rid of the Rocky Mountain elk because it is working so far on this zone. We're definitely in the testing phase. How you doing, my dude?
was not a good shot. That one was. Got him. Unfortunately, I needed one more bullet there. Where did he go? There he is, there he is. Little easier to find with daylight, for sure. Got him! Oh, he's down to 25. He is not gonna last too much longer, but he is gonna be a long trek. And I would imagine he has gone splat. Okay. Oh, when you get up on the edge here, you do have to really check that you have the line like that. And I didn't, so I have a lot of hunting pressure there. Oops, not a big deal. And there is one double lung. And here is our bear that ran really, really far. Let's see, we hit him in the skull. That seems to be a problem for me. And then I did it again. <laughs> From 314 meters, well, at that point, you're just throwing shots and hoping you hit it, but he did die. But he ran 500 and, no, he didn't. He ran 230 meters, that's not that bad. And our third bear floated, and when I changed the time, he ended up on the side. If you don't wanna wait for floaters, just change the time forward by one minute and your floater will end up on the shore. Oh my gosh, guys. I think the elk that I blew up from the other zone came to this zone. We are now at this lake. <laughs> It is loaded with elk. I think elk are going to be a bit of a nuisance. I really do. I think these four lakes are probably the home range for the elk as well. So if you do blow out the zone, it's probably just gonna go to another lake that has black bears on it. So I think we're just gonna have to deal with them. I had to test it to try it out. I don't think there's much we can do about it, but these bears are right out in the open. The elk aren't a problem at the moment. It's just very interesting. Oh, this 300 is so insane. Look at that, four splattered black bears. So sweet. Now, you know what's interesting, guys? I have done three full rotations and I have killed 39 bears. So every single rotation, we have got 13 bears and that is what we started with. So we so far have had no jumpers. So it is smart to keep track of that. Now, guys, just a second ago, I finished a rotation. I still had 45 minutes left in drink time. I could have continued, but when I came here, I only had one bear. So I decided to leave the map and come back and now I have four bears here. So it is definitely worth your time to leave the map every rotation. I think it is. That is definitely what I'm going to do because I am getting more bears. It just forces the response to happen sooner than later. Double splat. And we have two more over here. I may not even have to reload. Oh, that wasn't a good shot. Oh dear. So as you can see, the animals are still glitching around water and I should have gone over to my other 300 there, but I didn't. And splat, we got him. Okay guys, so seeing as we are gonna have to put up with elk, I am now gonna carry the Virant 22 with me on my bear grind. Now, if you've never heard of the 22 trick, all it is is firing off a 22. I think it only works with the Virant. I'm not sure if it works with the Zarza 22, but what it will do is just not even spook the animal, but just make it go alert and it usually moves. Look, this bear is blocked in. I have no shot. So this elk has gone alert. He's not moving. He's supposed to move dude move. Oh, my bear's standing. Maybe I should get my weapon out. Okay, so the bear's moving. I just need a clean shot and I don't have it. So if whatever you're shooting at doesn't move into the right position, wait until they go calm again and then fire off another 22. If you do it too soon, you will spook the animals. Now I don't even mind spooking off the elk. I just got to make sure the bear sticks around and seeing as I can't even spot them, not easy. Okay, I'm going to fire off another 22. Oh, that's not the 22. Okay, well, that'll work too. <laughs> well, there's my bear. I found him. Got him. And there's the other one. Well, that's another way to do it. Got him. Okay, beautiful. So just got to find a way to get a clear shot. Okay, guys, look what finally spawned. Finally, we are at 78 kills. This is our second diamond, but the first one was just about right at the beginning. So that is pretty terrible. We should definitely be spawning more diamonds. So I know I definitely do have some big bears at exteriors. So what I'm going to have to do is actually change the time to the evening drink time, 20 to zero. And I'm going to have to go out looking for more big bears to bring them up here to our ground and then we will probably spawn more diamonds. Now, I don't know if this is actually a diamond. Let's shoot him and find out. We got him. He's about to go. 
his blood. He did. Okay, here is our big bear. How you doing, my dude? And we have a diamond 22.9. Beautiful. And we broke through the scapula and we did get right long. So that is diamond number two. So these are our last two bears. That's gonna make 100 kills. We only got two diamonds, no rares, but grinding in daylight was delightful. Loving grinding with the new 300 AR. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, splat that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching.